It's great to have you on Monday Night Bible Study. Amen. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate all of you being here. Every one of you are taking the time to come and study the Word together and be together and pray together. And it's my prayer that there will always be two or three gathered together in the house of God uh, and doing His will. I'm thankful for you, the servants of the Lord, and uh, you could do many things with your time, but I'm sure all of you have had a busy day, but I'm glad you took this time to be here. To our church of the internet, a uh, far greater number watching on the internet than could possibly be here, because there are hundreds and there are thousands that are uh, looking at these um, Bible studies, I talked with the one up in the state of Georgia today that's been following the Bible studies very closely and uh, commenting about them. And people do view these Bible studies across the nation. And we welcome you wherever you are, whatever state you're in, or perhaps even out of the states. Uh, we are glad you're with us. May the Lord bless you, and perhaps we'll get to meet many of you in days to come. And if not that, we'll all prepare to meet the Lord, and uh, there in that day, uh, we will meet uh, together and know one another after the Spirit. We're going to pray tonight for our sick and our afflicted here in the um, media radius and the, uh, the area of our assembly. And we do have uh, quite a sick list, quite a list of prayer that we're concerned about. People that uh, we know that are not feeling well. Sister Mary Klazeski here in our church, Sister Elizabeth Knight, uh, Sister uh, Judy Schock, Brother Hank Schock, <coughs> Phyllis Kenzer, um, are just a few uh, of the many, many. Mickey, the shinny at ER, did they? Right. I took her to the hospital. Sister Carol was going back over there. Sister Mickey uh, Eason, um, Happy Sunday. remembering, and Sister Sheila um, Cobb, Cobb. <coughs> here in the uh, local Dad, hospitals. Um, we want to remember Sister Durrett uh, uh, Carlson and uh, keep her in prayer. And then many, many others that uh, stand in need of prayer. Some of our elderly people, some of our uh, people that are not physically strong anymore. So remember them, keep them before God. And uh, there is the church family, and there's uh, the people of God in the body of Christ. There's ministers that we know and we don't know. Uh, we just ask our God, through his son Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, to uh, come and watch over loved ones in your family. Uh, how many have loved ones in your family? I do. That's in need of prayer. Loved ones, people you love, part of your family. Sister Dozier is over here on the grounds, and she's just lingering. And it's just a matter of time, uh, God's time, to receive her. <coughs> Sister Fanny can't be here uh, an extended of time. She's uh, just uh, at the point where she's crossing <coughs> the bar of time and of life. And we want to remember her and prayer her family tonight as well. sister, Brother Ernest, her sister, be going to Erie, Pennsylvania to get a diagnosis of a tumor growing on the side and to see whether they can do anything or not. And we certainly want to pray uh, for this 
greatest need. Um, there's many, many. Let's remember Brother Tom, Brother Daryl Ambry, Sister Charlotte, uh, Natalie, tonight <coughs> as they're traveling back to Kentucky yes. and uh, be coming back down to make this their home. Remember the West Spirit that we hear moving back here, Raymond and Faith. Uh, remember Brother Rick here. Uh, we are sad to see him leave. We, uh, Rick is a part of this church and uh, we've learned to love him and Deborah and, and, and Valerie so much and uh, we just miss them when they're, if they wouldn't be here. We're fortunate to have Sister Valerie stay with us and we appreciate her. So, uh, but Rick and Debbie become very much a part of this church. Rick will be traveling tomorrow. And he'll be um, needing our prayers. Let's pray for the families. We don't know them. They're in another world. They may be Buddhist. They may be belong to uh, uh, some Eastern religions. Uh, but the families of those 239 people, that they have no trace of what happened to that plane as of tonight. It disappeared from the face of the earth far as man is concerned. They have no trace. They have, can't find any wreckage thus far. They can't find any <coughs> debris. Um, they're, they're widening the search tonight in the uh, Gulf of Tonkin and uh, the uh, surrounding borders of Vietnam. But who knows what has happened to those people? Only God. But their souls, and God knows where they are, God knows what has happened, but I can feel the tragedy in those families, <coughs> and uh, not knowing, that's probably, death is bad, but then not, not knowing, knowing so. anything about what happened, and how they ended yeah, their life, that would be a tormenting feeling the rest of their lives, so let's pray for them tonight earnestly, oh, sincerely, let's pray for the work here, God will uh, uh, continue to stabilize it and help it and uh, keep it uh, fortified. Um, pray for the work in Fort Charlotte, that it will grow, and God will bless for the steward and give him strength. And um, let's pray for many other needs, uh, for the Maddox and for the nursing home, uh, to need to foster 102 years of age. And uh, uh, let's pray for uh, different ones that are uh, various. Uh, yeah, oh, there's so many needs. Praise the name of the Lord. So we're going to pray. We're a praying church. We're a believing church. And we're going to be sitting quite a while. And you that can, you that wish to exercise your body, just let's arise or you can kneel, however, but... Let's take the moment to uh, to pray. Father, I thank you for the privilege to come tonight, and I thank you for helping us to walk with you and to walk in your place and walk with you, Lord. Uh, I, I ask you, Lord, to um, look upon us with tenderness and with mercy. And oh God, tonight the long list of people, and there are only just a few, uh, that needs the helping hand of our Savior. Oh, our Savior. You're our Savior, Lord. Uh, we address you as Savior and Lord, and we call upon your name, and we plead the blood of Jesus, and we ask you, Lord, to look down upon us and favor us and show us love and show us care, show us mercy and understanding. Lord, we cannot do things without you. We cannot go without you. We cannot walk without you. Oh, Jesus, tonight we feel the plight of your people. We feel the hurt and the pain of your people. We feel the pain of the church. We feel, Lord, the um, uh, 
sorrow of the church. We feel, Lord, the conditions around us. And, oh, God, we pray that the Holy Spirit will involve itself in our midst, Lord. The Holy Ghost will strengthen. The Holy Ghost will come in. The Holy Ghost will forgive. The Holy Ghost will keep us tender. The Holy Ghost will keep us zealous. Oh, Jesus, that we might uh, know you in the uh, mercy, and know you in the uh, understanding of love and grace. And, oh, God, how can we praise you? How can we thank you, Lord? How can we call upon you uh, except that we believe you hear us and you give uh, mercy uh, to the uh, merciful and uh, we obtain love to we who can love all oh, as you love because you are love, your forgiveness and your light and your not darkness. Tonight we proclaim your name. We honor your name. We know that we're living in a dispensation of time, that it will come and go, that it will be through and done and over with. And oh, Jesus, we'll need you to walk with us. We'll need you to stay with us. We'll need you to guide us every step of the way. Oh, but we love you tonight. Oh, but we love you tonight. Dear Lord, we love you. Dear Lord, we praise you. Dear Lord, we ask, Lord, for these things in your name. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name. Praise your name, Lord. Praise your name, Praise your name, Lord. Oh, Jesus, glorify us, Lord, with your glory. Glorify us with your praise. Glorify us, Lord, with the honor that you give us in life eternal, a substance of life. We'll eat your word. We'll drink your spirit. We'll eat your flesh, Lord. And tonight we call upon you to give us hungry hearts and consuming spirits, broken contract spirits. Jesus, we love you tonight. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We pray for your people everywhere. We pray for your people everywhere. We pray for your people everywhere. Oh, that they might obtain mercy. They might obtain grace. In the name of Jesus. 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 Or go with Brother Rick tomorrow in traveling mercy. Oh, God, remember those stricken families of the Malaysian airline, Lord. Oh, God, go with Brother Tom and Brother Darrell, traveling mercies. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Oh, Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah, we praise you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Bless the pastors, Lord. Bless the families of God. Bless the churches, Lord. Jesus, we praise you. Amen, amen.